uh, that has come out, and that is that Gareth Bale has retired from football. And I'm not going to lie to you; it's a bit of a, a sore subject, just in terms of he was the player that I kind of grew up to, grew up watching and adoring. So we'll go around, not pay our respects because that's probably the wrong words, but you know what I mean. He's I not died. <laughs> He's not died. <laughs> I don't really know what words to call it. Um, but Wes, what's your kind of thoughts on obviously the the magician uh, Bale obviously retiring? Yeah, I think look, what a player, what a career um, that that man had. Not just in a Spurs shirt, obviously what he did for for Real Madrid, effectively won them La Decima, um, which they I don't think they fully appreciate to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean. You know, the last couple of years of him in a Spurs shirt were just absolutely electric. Um, you know, he was dynamite. And, um, yeah, I genuinely think he... And I was saying this, actually, to um, my girlfriend earlier, that I genuinely believe, talking Premier League times, he became a world-class player. And he's probably one of the only players to really do that in Premier League times. Yes, you talk about other top, top players... But more often than not, they were top players already before before they come to the league or they were already at the level that they kind of stayed at. Um, whereas I think Bale kind of came out of nowhere and became the best player in the world um, without a shadow of a doubt. And, yeah, I, I think we can all look back now and say at times he, he saved us and, you know, it's probably a good season or two where he probably carried us and we were effectively a one-man team. And it was like if Bale didn't turn up, then um, you know Spurs weren't gonna weren't really gonna do much. Um, but no, honestly, what a what a player and you know watching him, um, you know, and he was just majestic. Um, you know, I look back at the Leon Europa League game with with great fondness. I think um, you know two absolute worldy free kicks, and it's also if anybody doesn't know that particular game, it's the same game that Sam Willem Titi scored that worldy goal that everybody posts um up all the time so yeah i mean i was really lucky that night i saw three absolute worldy goals um so i definitely got my money's worth um then but yeah i think you know what a what a fantastic player and you know arguably one of the best um you know that we've seen on on british shores um, and to come out of british shores 100 percent Mm. And like I say, he's done it on all stages. I mean, I'll never forget, obviously, he went in a Spurs shirt when he did that overhead kick in, um, obviously, the Champions League final. I still, to this day, can't believe it. Um, but Holly, I don't know if you were kind of on the same wave as me. Like, I grew up with Bell. I had posters on my wall of Gareth Bell. And now to be the day where he's finally retired, it's, it's a bit sad, isn't it? It is sad. I, I, when I heard the news, I was just a bit like, I guess I just felt this wave of nostalgia Um for a start, it made me feel old because, like, as you said, Holly, you know, he was sort of a Spurs player of our, of our generation. We grew up watching him and, and I guess, you know, he's, he's a standout player for one of the first times I think I saw real magic on the pitch in a Spurs shirt. And um, you mentioned that kick then. Perfect example, you know, just he's just been an absolute star. And I think, you know, when he when he returned back to the club on a, on a, on a loan 2021 season, um, you know, I think I think that it brought back that nostalgia, and it was just so nice to have him have him back. You know, welcome him back with open arms, and of course, it, he's just one of those players that's just always going to be part of the family. Um, and you know, I'd like to see him continue on, um, but you know, I suppose he's reached that point in his career now. He's just uh, played on the world stage um, for Wales in the World Cup, and maybe he feels like that's it for him he can he can retire happy now uh and you know who can blame him because what a career not many players can say that they've achieved the things that he did so um yeah he'll he'll be missed but um hopefully he may uh, decide he's gonna step into punditry or something like that and then we'll we'll hear from him a lot often a lot more often so uh think fingers crossed we'll be hearing that lovely accent soon <laughs> If not, it'd definitely be somewhere playing golf, that's for sure. I mean, he's, he's finished football now. I think he had golf calling his name. But no, you guys were all right. I think he's had an amazing career. And like you said, Holly, I think taking him to the World Cup um, was probably, that was it for him. Um, he, he's done all he wants to do, to leave on a high. And I, I wish him all the best in what he decides to do next. But